are here with Richard Brick, the Night King himself. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Having a good time. <laughs> you have a good time here at C2E2? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, and I'm loving Chicago. First time I've been here, so it's very cool. Have you tried the pizza yet? Uh, I did. I had one for lunch. I had a slice of pizza. It was very good. Now, you've been in Chicago, you've been in New York. Do you prefer the New York pizza or Chicago style oh, pizza? Oh, man, that's unfair. I can't answer that question. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to be held against me. When I'm in New York, if I said Chicago, they'll get mad at me. And if I said New York and then Chicago, they'll get mad at me. I like both. I like them both. You know, I just said you took the photo of everybody I was here as the Game of Thrones cosplayer. You're yeah. now the Night King yourself. How did it feel when you first got the role? Um, to be honest with you, they only told me uh, w- that it was covered in prosthetics, didn't speak, and was only going to be on screen that season for about five seconds. <laughs> so I was like, what the hell? Um, but they did say the character would be very important in the years to come. So I was excited to be a part of the show, but I was um, apprehensive as to where it was all going so I was very happy that the character was such a great character and you know it was a, it was just a great show to be a part of now Game of Thrones ended last year have you watched Game of Thrones since your appearance on the screen uh, yeah 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 and I, I really liked what happened on season 8 I particularly liked um, that Arya killed my character I thought that was brilliant I thought the way they developed her character and uh, the way that um that she went from being a little girl that watched her father murdered to the guy who to the woman who saves the world is genius. Now, do you have any stories with uh, Kit Harrington? With who? Kit Harrington. Oh yeah, I did. Um, I always love telling the one where uh, on my first day on Hard Home, the episode, uh, because my makeup takes six hours. I was always there before everybody else, so I'd get there really very early. By the time Kit and everybody else showed up, I was in full makeup, you know. And then, of course, it would take two hours to take the makeup off, so I was always the last to leave, you know, uh, of the actors at least. Um, So on my first day, we were all going to meet for dinner in Belfast. So I showed up late, of course, having been finishing my makeup being taken off, uh, and sat down next to Kit, who looked over and was like, who the hell is this guy? I had to go, hey, man, no, no, I'm the Night King. I was the guy chasing you off that pier all night, all day. <laughs> oh, my God, that is a funny story. Now, since we're here in C2E2, what is your favorite comic book? Oh, um, Batman. I killed his parents, too, so. <laughs> you killed his parents, and we have the person killing you at the, <laughs> at the season just now. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now, what are your future projects? Oh, I got loads of things coming out. Uh, a show called Cursed to run Netflix. Um, Brave New World to be on USA Channel. Did the Rhythm Section, which came out a couple weeks ago. A uh, movie with Blake Lively. Um, yeah, loads of stuff. Got loads of stuff. Um, can't even remember half the time. I should I should think about a better answer because when people ask me that, I'm always a bit stumped because I literally just go from job to job. And by the time I go to the next one, I've usually forgot the last one. Thank you so much for the short time here. I've been a huge fan of your work for years. I'm happy I've interviewed you finally. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You are welcome.